so I decided to do a video because it's been a while. Hi everyone, hope everyone is doing well. Hope uh, everyone is still having their Mets hope up alive. The Mets are three, no, four games back to, as of the, as of right now in this video. But we're gonna talk about today's loss because I see a lot of chatter online. I see there's a lot of people who are commenting on you know, the moves that were made at towards that ninth inning. So I said, let me put my two cents. Um, you know, I have said it for a very long time that Luis Rojas is a very bad manager. Makes moves that don't make sense. And tonight, he made a couple different moves that just did not make sense. Um, and how about that? He made a move earlier in the game that I was actually not a big fan of. Um, and that was putting Lugo in, in a, in a tight spot that he was in. He walked two batters and he got out of it. Yes. But Lugo has been off for a while and he should not be being put in positions like this at the moment. You can't trust him. Yes, he got out of it, but let's be honest. Uh, Lindor was in the right position to get the throw. Um, a little bit off and, you know, that's a base hit. But, um... Let's get to the ninth inning because this is the big one. So I want to say, first of all, I thought and I was under the impression that the rule is if you touch a ball in fair territory, it's a fair ball. That was my assumption, but apparently that's not the rule. The rule is the ball has to be basically fair. Um, and to me, it still looked like it was a fair ball. I, you know, unfortunately, the camera angle sucks, so can't argue can't no they they challenged that one and unfortunately you know they didn't get the, the the call but it is what it is whatever um you pinch hit pilar for guillaume and while guillaume did work a walk i don't i didn't see the reason for this i just don't see the reason for it and then the big move you know Walk, uh, pinch hitting McCann for Mazika. Even worse decision here because, as much as McCann has been struggling and has struggled basically the entire year, he is still the guy who could give you a big, big shot. And you know, he has an occasion been a guy who comes through in the clutch. So, I didn't see a reason for that one. Um, but it is what it is. He made that decision and, and then all of a sudden we go to the bottom of the knife and here's where things just don't make sense at all. Um, you know, Diaz ends up getting to two outs and your defense and the outfield, like they were playing shallow still for no reason. It's not like a, if you get a base hit, you're going to throw out the runner. You're not. You just you just are not going to throw out that runner. He was too fast. So the defense needed to be playing much more deeper. But they weren't. Um, now, I would not even have Diaz in this position because it's not a save situation. Uh, as much as I know he has blown two saves in a row, um, I I, I, you gotta still trust Diaz in the same situation because you no, know, he that is his position to do. But in this situation, I just would not have gone with Diaz. But you went with Diaz, and he would have got out of it because the ball was uh it was in play. It, it hit off the top of the wall. But if your defense is back, that's an out. Um, but unfortunately, he didn't play his defense that way. Now I heard some people talking about they probably should have walked the batter. That was another thing they could have done if that was the case, but you know they didn't go that route. But like I said, um, so many opportunities were lost tonight. Um, the Braves lost, the Phillies lost. The Mets could have been three games back, but unfortunately, no, they lost. The only bright spot is that everyone lost, which means that the Mets are still exactly where they were. One thing I am worried about is, though, we are heading into the weekend series with the Yankees, and the Yankees series always tends to hurt the Mets more than help. So, and the Yankees have not been doing well at all. They have they're in a big losing streak at the moment, and 
I don't want them to break out of it against the Mets. Let's be honest. Um, as much as I'm not happy with the team, I'm not happy, you know, with certain things, um, I still want my team to win. Uh, I still want my team to make it to the playoffs. But, um, yeah, I, I, I don't feel great about this weekend. Uh, I am worried because especially because the Yankees are in a losing streak. And I believe they lost again tonight. Um, they could beat up on the Mets. Uh, I could see it happening. I don't want it to happen, but no. <laughs> you know, the way this team has been up and down, it's just not one of those things where I feel confident in the Mets right now. But no, uh, like I said, um, definitely miss Nemo out there. Him getting hurt sucks. Um, but like I've been saying for a very long time, Luis Rojas is guilty of making bad decisions and causing the Mets several games. Several games. Uh, I will even go as far as say double digit games. But, um, you know, he's going to be there till the end of the year. And whether the Mets make it or not, uh, I don't want to see him back here next year. I just don't. But, guys, I know I haven't done a video in a long, long time. But I do still watch the Mets. Um, I still follow the Mets. I still, you know, they're not my number one priority. I, I have other things that I'd rather do than watch the Mets games at this, at this given time. No, especially because the team has been up and down. Um, I don't have any plans to attend any additional Mets games this season. Unless they go to the playoffs, then, yeah, you'll see me at the playoffs. But, guys, let me know what you guys think of the Mets right now. How do you guys feel? Um, but, um, like I said, let's go Mets. Got to believe. And uh, we got one more game with the Marlins. And I, I actually mentioned the Marlins are a hard, tough team for the Mets. So, uh, let's try to beat them and get out of Florida as quick as we can.